this demonstration, Sonodyne's Sentinel Intruder Detection Sonar will show how it can be used to protect a vessel in harbor or a strategic coastal asset from underwater intrusion and attack. The Sentinel system has been deployed to provide complete underwater domain awareness to detect divers, swimmers, and other surface traffic attempting to reach the asset undetected. In this exercise, the divers are equipped with both scuba and rebreathing equipment and enter the water from an unknown position a substantial distance from the asset. Sentinel will counter the threat by providing early detection, classification, tracking and warning of the threat, providing valuable time for security personnel to take appropriate action. Sentinel's compact size and lightweight design make it a practical solution for rapid mobilization to meet an evolving threat. It has taken less than 45 minutes from arriving on scene for one person to set up the Sentinel system and deploy the sonar head from the jetty. The protected asset can be seen at the center of the sonar display an intuitive and easy-to-use software package that requires no special operator training to configure. Standard electronic charts can be used as backdrops. But here, a satellite image of the port has been imported to help the operator visualize the area. By placing the mouse cursor over a sonar target, the operator can view basic information in the main sonar window or view full information and history on an information panel to the left of the display. The panel also shows the operational status of the system. With the system now online, the asset is protected by an invisible underwater security perimeter. The operator in this exercise has drawn a virtual exclusion zone to the rear of the sonar. Sentinel can also be electronically configured to provide sonar coverage in segments of 45 degrees up to 360 degrees. The sonar head is deployed in approximately 8 meters of water, looking across a bay that increases to 15 meters, and then rises sharply to the far side. The environment is soft mud with variable sound velocity profile, creating challenging but realistic operating conditions for the sonar. The shallow water of the headland itself can be seen against the sonar, whilst at around 450 metres due south of the sonar, a navigation buoy is identifiable. Threats could enter the water from a passing vessel or from the shore on the far side. In this demonstration, Sentinel is also operating in close proximity to both a classification sonar device and a high-frequency 3D imaging sonar system located in the Bay Area. None of these devices is causing any interference or creating any false alerts. Almost immediately, Sentinel detects a potential threat. A trained sonar operator may have noticed the start of a track south-southwest of the asset at 420 meters. But Sentinel can be operated by anyone with no previous experience. At this point, the detection and tracking algorithms in the software analyze the track and assess it along with the many other targets it examines during each cycle. If over a period of time, the algorithms decide the target poses a threat to the asset, an alert is raised. At two minutes and 24 seconds, the system raises an alert and backdates the track to the initial point of detection. The threat is given a unique identification tag and assigned an alert level of substantial. By passing the cursor over the target, the operator can see the position and bearing of the track. As the system tracks the threat, the alert moves through various stages. The icon and the color change at each stage to provide an unambiguous and visual confirmation of the track status. This data aids the response decision-making process and can be exported to a command and control system, remote device or other system 
to aid interdiction of the target by a deterrent or classification system. In this example, the track has quickly progressed from severe to critical as the software has determined that the speed, bearing and characteristics of the thread is unlikely to be a mammal or a fish. As Sentinel continues to track the first target, a second trace becomes visible southwest of the protected asset. Again, Sentinel recognizes this sonar trail and at 6 minutes 50 seconds, the threat is identified and a clear warning to the operator is displayed. The second diver in this case is wearing closed circuit rebreathing apparatus, a much more difficult target for sonar systems to detect and track. As with the first diver, the track of the second diver is backdated to the point at which the sonar initially detected the target for clarification purposes. Sentinel has another unique capability. In addition to being an environmentally friendly sonar, operating at a source and power level more than 400% lower than previous generation systems, Sentinel can be specified with passive target classification. This feature enables raw sonar data to separate out background ambient noise from man-made noise such as diving equipment. This is realized at 10 minutes 31 seconds when, with the threat still over 200 meters away from the asset, a 100% classification of a scuba diver is made. The track number has now risen to 76. This means that Sentinel is currently assessing 74 other potential targets in the background. But other than the two divers, none are at this time being considered as threats. There have been no false alarms or tracks during this whole process. As with Diver 1, the track for Diver 2 moves quickly from substantial to severe and finally critical. At this point, security personnel are dispatched to intercept the divers and the demonstration is concluded. Sentinel is a new generation of underwater sonar that has been developed to detect, track and classify targets around vessels and coastal infrastructure, which until now have always been vulnerable to intruders approaching from underwater. In this exercise, Sentinel demonstrated rapid deployment and commissioning. It protected an asset against multiple threats, with no false alarms in a shallow, noisy and high multipath environment. The operation was entirely automatic with no user intervention. And the system demonstrated the stepped threat classification, in addition to a passive classification confirming the identity of the target. The system can be deployed and operational in less than an hour and operated with the minimum of training, providing secure, cost-effective underwater perimeter protection for any waterborne or harbor asset. Sentinel can be operated as an autonomous system